Hello Wannabe Mechanics, in this episode we are going to paint the brake calipers and the mounting bracket on a Mercedes 180 with a red high temperature resistant paint. This will improve your car's look a lot but also keep the rust away. There are many ways you can do it and a lot of special products out there but not all of them will resist the frost, high temperature or scrapings. If your brake calipers aren't extremely worn out we strongly recommend doing the same thing we do in order to save time, effort and a lot of money. You can take down the caliper and send it to a specialized shop where it would be sandblasted, coated and painted but it would cost you about the same money as new ones. Also you can spray paint the calipers but it might take some time covering other parts of the assembly and if wind is also a factor then it will be really easy to mess it up. We have no affiliation to the companies producing the paint used in this video but after trying a lot of products out there we recommend you use these ones for a prolonged durability. As an example, these calipers have been painted 3 years ago and they still look awesome. Don't go anywhere guys, meet you back in the shop right after our short intro. The tools we will be needing for these operations are a brake caliper paint set we are using a Ride HP set This set includes a lacquer hardener The paint itself, you can choose any color you like best. A brake cleaner spray. A brake bar with a 17mm socket to remove the lug nuts. Some sandpaper. Some metal wire brushes and a pair of gloves. A file. A screwdriver and a metal scraper. And high temperature silver lacquer. It is very cheap and easy to find. We had to work in the shade because it was really hot and that can make the hardener evaporate too fast. Place the jack under the jacking point indicated in your user's manual. Loosen up the lug nuts. Because they were pretty tight we had to use a stronger brake bar and an extender. Place the jack stand under a solid body part as a safety measure. Remove the wheel. Start cleaning the brake caliper, the caliper bracket and the front part of the rotor.
You can also remove the crusted rust on the rotor which can impede the normal airflow that helps the rotor to cool off. Use two lug nuts to rotate the rotor. We even used a small power drill with a wire brush for the final touches. Spray plenty of brake cleaner to remove all the grease. Mix in a small container some of the paint and the lacquer hardener. You can test the ideal consistency on the caliper for an even spread. We recommend mixing just a small amount for each caliper as the hardener might evaporate too fast. If that happens, you just add more hardener. Apply the red paint using some regular paint brushes. The paint will dry out very fast, so you do not have to wait for too long before applying the second coat. Apply the silver lacquer onto the caliper bracket.
and this is the end result. Grease the lug nuts and thread them back in. Lower the car back on the ground and apply the recommended torque for your car. Check it in the user's manual. Place the plastic caps back in and you are done working on the first caliper. Do the same thing for the other calipers. I think we've done a pretty good job, don't you? Thank you very much for watching, use the comments section for any questions or suggestions and if you find our videos interesting, make sure you subscribe for the latest wannabe mechanic videos. Bye bye!